there are a lot of shows on television which are travelogue shows, you know, where uh, some university professor will go down to Peru or somewhere like that with a little eight millimeter brownie, you know? <laughs> and he takes all this jungle footage. And then he comes back to the States and, uh, and they put him in the hospital to recover from, the, <laughs> from these rare diseases that he's picked up down there. And somehow these travelogue shows hear about it, you see. And they approach him, they ask him to sign this release that they can show on television, his film. Now this is fine, the one problem with these shows, the only person who knows anything about the film is the guy who shot it, the professor. And he is not a trained television personality, you see. He's not familiar with many of the taboos on television. So I would like to present this travelogue show. Uh, usually it starts with a, uh, a very saccharine announcer, and he comes on something like this. <clears throat> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Strange People's Strange Lands. Our guest in the studio tonight is Colonel Nichols Ross. Colonel Ross has recently returned from a trip to Peru and has brought back some very exciting film with him, which he calls The Seven Lost Cities of the Incas. Colonel Ross. Uh, well, thank you very much, John. <laughs> this, uh, this was indeed a very exciting uh, trip that we, uh, we made to the uh, seven lost cities of the Incas. I uh, hear you, I uh, hear... <clears throat> Here, here you see us in the uh, modern harbor of San Sebastopol. Uh, <laughs> a har harbor cut out of the heart of the Peruvian jungle. Uh, here you see us loading up our boats uh, preparatory to, uh, to making the trip. Uh, the couple there on the dock is the American consul, his uh, very charming wife, Gloria. <laughs> They had uh, thrown a farewell party for us in the night before at uh, the consulate. Uh, the woman standing directly to the left of the consul is, uh, is my wife, Margot. Uh, she had hoped uh, to make the trip with us. Um, however, at the last minute, uh, she came down with a, a sudden attack of dysentery. <laughs> <laughs> she, she was taken suddenly ill. <laughs> here, uh, here, here is she is, um, uh, two days later, being towed off a sandbar in the harbor of San Sebastopol. <laughs> Here's still a little hungover from the farewell party. <laughs> by American Councilman's very charming wife, Chloe. <laughs> well, here you see us some uh, two days later, once again, loading up the boats, about to depart from the harbor of San Sebastopol. <laughs> yeah, once again, there is the American Councilman's very charming wife, Chloe. <laughs> Uh, you just uh, get a glimpse here of my wife running for the house. <laughs> that's, that's no good either. <laughs> well, well, here we are, finally <laughs> underway. Uh, we only had four weeks in which to cover the seven lost cities of Incas. We had already blown a week in the harbor of San <laughs> here, uh, here you see us arriving at the first of the seven lost cities of Incas. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a bit of excitement here as we arrive. Uh, it happened they had a total eclipse of the sun and it coincided with our arrival. 
and the uh, superstitious natives uh, began to pray to us as sun gods and uh, begged us to please return the sun to their skies, <coughs> well, which we did. <laughs> Well, as, as I say, we didn't have too much time to spend in any one village, so here we are off the next morning and arriving late that afternoon at the second of the seven lost cities of the Incas. Uh, here you see us being greeted by the chief. Uh, they had a rather a strange custom in this village of uh, providing each male visitor with a bride for his stay. We, uh, we tried to explain to them that this was not uh, the custom in our country, uh, however, when in uh, Rome, do as the Romans do. <laughs> we uh, spent a total of two and a half weeks in this village. only left us one day in which to cover the other five lost cities, but thank you very much. Thank you.